Say the line, Bart. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. That is so... So stupid. This is probably the laziest, dumbest thing to go quote-unquote viral. Hello, everyone. I have returned. Uh, n n nothing specific. I'm just back. I'm here again, and we're gonna take another look at top memes. Why not? Why not? That's it. We don't have an answer to that question. So before I flounder anymore in this opening 30 seconds, let's go, baby. After all these years, they're just as funny. The world is a cruel and unjust place. There's no harmony in the universe. The only constant is suffering. Minutes later. Oh my god, new Asdif movie. You know, they're still all right. They're still okay. I personally didn't find this one as funny, but then again, that's because it has been so long that my humor has changed a little bit. It's one of the few things we can all agree on. North American cultures, South American cultures, European cultures, Asian cultures, African cultures. Fried potatoes are awesome. Yeah, I would say that we all agree that potatoes in general are amazing. They can do so many things. Show me the real ruler of this world. I said the real ruler of this world. Perfection. All right, anxiety. No, 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 you were correct at BlackRock for sure, and probably a few other large companies. No, 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 don't get it twisted. Those guys don't suffer from anxiety, and if they do, they absolutely bury that crap with God only knows what. They own you, they own me, hell, they even own your grandma. My face when I see Ash pull out his Pokedex to identify a Pokemon he's already battled countless times in the previous region. Hey, come on, man. You have to suspend your disbelief for a few seconds. Remember what world you are watching, okay? This is Pokemon. Every game has practically been identical to the last one, and it is a world full of little monsters that are enslaved and forced to dogfight, essentially, on a constant basis. Why don't you just enjoy the world for what it is, dude? Or don't. You don't have to do that, of course. We have to help the boomers. Don't talk to strangers. Don't give your data to strangers. Never click on an unknown link. I totally see what you're saying here, but you don't have the choice of giving your data to strangers or not. You don't. I'm sorry. That's the unfortunate reality of the world. Me looking at bro as he says some shit that I cannot defend him on? <laughs> uh, well, what's the stuff? I'm really, really curious what the hell your bro be saying, man, because there's a certain threshold where it's... A little too much, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You get what I'm throwing down? Are you opening and then moving what I put down on the table? What I think a 20-year-old car looks like. What a 20-year-old car actually looks like. Time doth march without relent. That 90s Camry that's never going to die. It's going to outlive that 2006, 7, 8 Camry. You know, like, uh, I prefer that one. I just think it looks nicer. The lady with a full cart. You can go ahead, sweetie. Me with one item. Yeah, I do appreciate that. That, that's... It seems almost like nothing in terms of... What would you call it? Just the niceties of the world. It, it speaks volumes to one's person, one's personality, one's level of kindness, because it's such a simple thing. And my response generally is because I try to be nice back and then it becomes an infinite loop of no one wants to be not nice. <laughs> I usually go, no, 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 I am in no hurry. I am not busy today. You are all good. How it looks like how it feels like. I, I see what you're saying. I've had one incident where a potato chip stabbed me in the mouth or in the gums or whatever. But for the most part, I don't know. I don't know. I just learned how to eat potato chip right. You know, I grew up and you know, I watched some tutorials on YouTube. I checked out a book from the library about it. And well, here we are. I think uh, to finish off my education on eating potato chips, I might have to take a course at the local university. But for now, I'm doing OK. And I do recommend that you try the same strat as myself. Humans just ruining perfectly good defense mechanisms. Cinnamon trees. I'm going to make something so vile. <laughs> Come on, man. Spice is great. That's what it's all about, man. <laughs> if it's not some sort of defense mechanism for another creature, is it really worth it? Think about it. Colleges, when they find a kid with a 1.3 GPA who did the bare minimum in high school to maintain athletic eligibility, but he can throw an egg-shaped ball really far. Well, uh, yeah, I get it. I totally understand. You know, there are probably so many people out there that deserve free school more so. 
But then again, these guys, don't they bring in a metric crap ton of money? You know, college football's almost as big as the NFL type crap, you know? It's really, really important to a lot of people. The Americans are very cult-like when it comes to American football, I should say. When you eat the food in one minute that you took one hour to cook. That is, unfortunately, the worst part about cooking. And then you gotta clean all that crap up. For every masterpiece, there is a cheap copy. Okay. Who the hell's that guy on the right? Is his actual name or artist name Fulio? Is that, is that real? I don't know. So my daughter tells me you figured out a way to stop cyberbullying. Yes, sir. Report, block, and close the app. You have exactly 10 seconds to go. Well, what does this mean? Yeah, uh, may, uh, giving the, the burden of doing anything, uh, putting it on the person who's being treated like, like garbage and being threatened and told the most horrific things as if it's their fault. I see what they're saying here. Yep, yep, yep. You should just absolutely, you should leave. You should stop using the app because someone else is being a horrific piece of shit. It's your responsibility to get away from it. I make a meme about people who invalidate my feelings. I post it. Someone says, that doesn't happen. I get upset. I love people that say that. That doesn't happen. <laughs> sure, dude. You know everything that happens at all times and forever. That's how that works, brother. You sure do know what everyone else is experiencing at all times. Thank goodness God is just sitting in the f replies on Twitter, man. It's so good that you're there, dude. <laughs> Cyclists when you have to consider them as a vehicle. Cyclists when they have to consider themselves as a vehicle. I've been around plenty of dickhead cyclists. We all have. But they are far fewer in number than dickhead drivers. People get mad when they see bicycle lanes. They get infuriated when they see bicycle lanes because how dare you get in the way of my $95,000 hatchback. Darn kids just want to bang on the drum all day. Now hiring, entry level position. Pay rate, 12 bucks an hour with no benefits. Requirements, PhD and 10 years of experience. How come nobody wants to work anymore? You know, my buddy Zach, he's on the channel again now. You guys remember Zach, right? He made a great joke when our Walmart started shutting down and removing all of the self-checkout lanes because of monumental theft. Oh no! Did the trillion dollar grocery giant lose some f money? I really couldn't care less, but he mentioned, damn, the computers don't want to work anymore. <laughs> The free labor didn't want to work anymore. Me watching the homeless guy pull out his master's degree in computer science. <laughs> and you would be absolutely amazed just who ends up homeless. Seriously. Gamer buys DLC from a series that has a reputation of being difficult. Is difficult. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit weird. A little bit weird. Plenty of people were able to defeat that DLC with... You know, obviously great difficulty, that is the entire point of FromSoft's, what, their entire catalog is difficulty, but not actually this is unfair, stupid bullshit difficulty. I did see plenty of reviews for the DLC that were mentioning things like, hey, so there's lots of bugs that you guys need to fix. That is totally valid, and hopefully they did get that crap fixed. But seriously, Elden Ring DLC? Y y you're pissy that it's hard? Really? Huh, okay, I thought that was the whole shtick. I thought that's why you enjoyed that game, is obviously there's a great story to tell there, but I thought one of the big selling points for so many people was, oh, Dude, yeah, it's so difficult. You know, it took me 27,000 tries to beat the final boss. It just, I felt so good when I finally did it. Not the game for me, for sure. Street dogs after eating a bunch of literal garbage. My dog after eating the premium food I bought him. See, it's all a conspiracy, my dude. You're supposed to be feeding your dog literal garbage. Why are you giving big dog food all of your money when you could just be feeding him trash? Inflammable, flammable, easily set on fire. That is an odd one. I will grant you that. I'll grant everybody anything today. I'm just in that mood. Me when I want to be French? No. No, I'm sorry. Nope. The cycle continues. Gen Alpha only watches Brain Rot. Gen Z used to watch stuff just as stupid. We all did. Man, you know what? Go back to Albino Black Sheep. All right, let's ask us millennials, or ask the rest of the millennials, what the hell they were doing when the internet was really coming into its own in terms of video content in the early 2000s. What do, what do we figure that one out? I don't know what gravity is. Gravity's just the curvature of space-time, okay? We don't know. Shut up. Yes, my PhD is real. And I'm telling you, we don't know Jack. Do you have any clue how hard this line of work is? It's been over 70 years, and there's been all progress. 
Every day I wake up and make up lies and publish papers about quantum fruit loops or nth dimensional silly strings, wasting away in an underfunded lab and dealing with dumbass sacks of crap like you. I could have been something. I could have made my parents proud, but of course I waste 11 years in school only to end up in the one unresolved corner of physics making 57 grand a year. <laughs> what is gravity? Shut the hell up. Gravity is the process that will turn my body limp when I decide to end it all. Wait, wait, don't leave yet. Let me give you a quick demonstration. What the f*** are you talking about? Calm the hell down, dog. Gravity is just gravity, man. It sticks my fat ass to the planet. That's all your average person gives a rat's ass about. Why are you so bent out of shape, dude? Such a good invention, to be honest. People whom are normally thought to be the smartest in the world. Albert Einstein, Charles Darwin, Isaac Newton. The actual smartest person in the world. The guy that made toilet paper turn red when you finished wiping. Uh, <laughs> wait, hang on, hold on a second. Are you telling me that I've never finished wiping in my entire life? Holy crap, that's a bad look. I gotta figure that out, man. You know what? Much like what I was saying earlier, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna watch some YouTube tutorials, I'm gonna take some classes, get some books, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Or get to my bottom of this, you know what I mean? I swear it's faster than walking and running. The game has a jump button. Um, some games, yeah, they'll have a, a little bit of movement built in there that's a little faster, but, uh... <laughs> I don't know, it's just your brain is tricking you, man. Your brain is tricking you, man, I swear. Top four vehicles most used for kidnappings. Why the boat? Why the ba and Okay, you know what, actually? Why the Jetta, or whatever that is? Look, the vans, th th whatever, duh. But why, why the Volkswagen? I'm confused. Is there a story I'm missing out on here? 2020s kids, 80s and 90s kids, 2000s and 2010s kids, what? What are you talking about? 2020s kids. So what, what what is a 2020s kid? Is that a uh, kid's born after 2020 or started forming memories around 2020? What exactly does this one mean? I'm a little bit confused. Buying raw meat from the butcher if someone offers cooked meat? I mean, yeah, because that means I just get to eat that sh I get to grab the meat and eat the meat. That's good. I like being able to do that. That rocks. But buying the raw meat, that means I gotta take it home and I gotta season it, I gotta cook it, I gotta, you know, like we were talking about earlier, I gotta spend hours doing it to eat it in four seconds. That's just not as fun. Okay, internet, she's dry. Milked her long enough. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it It was funny the first day. And then after that, it was like, okay, God damn it, stop it. Morning, sunshine. The internet. Ah, uh, it's him. The internet. Living with your mom. Your mom lives with you. Yeah? What? I got nothing else. Her. He must be thinking about other girls. Him. Do mosquitoes get drunk when I have a 0.2% blood alcohol and they sting me? I mean, probably. Do, can they really feel a whole lot? Nana watching me repeatedly flush our lineage's future down the toilet solo session after solo session. Why, okay. How old is this one? This one feels really old. I haven't seen this grandma in a long, long time. And why would your Nana give a shit? When you ask mom for chicken nuggies and she say no. Oh, oh no. Uh, wait, she'll probably say that you guys have some at home. Do you have some at home? And what ones do you have at home? Because they better be the dinosaur ones. Or, even better, the little star-shaped ones. I don't know why those are better. They just are. You just have to trust me. YouTube Noah Staliga. They made a new Asdif movie. Oh, sh for real? This is the second one with Asdif movie, man. Well, well, like, I love, I love Tom Scott. I love Asdif movie. But what are, what's up with these uh, advertisements we're getting for that video, man? Well, what, what's going on here? What's up with this conspiracy-level stuff, man? Given Tom Scott some free advertising, okay? What's that all about? <laughs> it is a good video. Yeah, I have to admit, it is good. It is good. <laughs> this onion won't make me cry. Sandwiches now cost five bucks. I mean, they always kind of have, though. All right, you know what? I can't, I can't really say that. I can't. Yesterday, I bought a, a single regular size bag of Doritos, and it was $7.30. Holy God. Therapist, you shouldn't allow other people's lives to stress you out. The other person's life. <laughs> yeah, good God, man. You gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, I can tell that the 11,000 in productivity is just unread emails. I don't think it's from anything else, for sure. Whoo-wee. This is obnoxious. What the hell's in hobbies? Pinterest, Kindle, they literally do not recognize most of these apps. To be fair, do you have two versions of Waze? Okay, sure, man. Okay, yeah. This is a little uh, anxiety-inducing for me. It's not my favorite. Same words, different meaning. You're gonna die one day. You're gonna die one day. Think about it. 
I mean, really sit there and think about it. Two things in life are always certain. Death and taxes. But hey, that death's gonna be more fun, baby. Go out with a bang. Only do what your heart tells you. Eat two sandwiches before going to bed. Yes, princess. <laughs> oh, why does that one feel like the most relatable goddamn thing? Why is it that that's what I do? I'm always bored, and then I get a little hungry, and then that's exactly what I do. I ate a sandwich or two and then go, hmm, well, I guess it is pretty late. Time to go to bed now, even though it is a lot harder to sleep if you've just eaten. It really is. It truly, truly is, at least for me. When the character who died off screen suddenly reappears in the last act to save the day. Cool, man. Gaming recommendation. If you like Reddit, you should try showering. No, no, those things unfortunately don't really work together. I'm sorry to say. When you haven't slept all night, but you're in a good mood. Hell yeah, dude. I don't mind it. I mean, on occasion. I can't go my entire life like that, unfortunately. No, 7-Up is the best! Sprite enjoyers, don't support Coca-Cola. Drink 7-Up, baby. I can survive five-story drop and keep working just fine. Mom, I got an update. I'm not working anymore. Okay, while I do not like every TV being a smart device now because it's annoying, more expensive, and they all suck complete ass in terms of the user experience, don't pretend like a CRT was actually a tough, invincible little box, all right? You look at that sucker wrong, and that tube blows up, okay? <laughs> Me, I'm gonna sleep early tonight. Me at 3 a.m. Hmm, mystery revealed. Do Godzilla and Kong have balls? Well, it kind of looks like Kong might, but what about Godzilla, though? He's the one I'm really interested in learning about. Three rules. No wishing for death, no falling in love, no bring back dead people. I wish tipping became the standard in all countries. There are four rules. Uh, I wouldn't want tipping to become a standard everywhere. I just, as I've said many times, and I will continue to say every time it is brought up, I do not like that it is kind of a guilt trip on the customer to, not what's the word, supplement the lower wages that you are paid by your boss and the company that owns your location or whatever. I think it's really nasty and crappy. I want to t I want to have the option and I want it to be okay, but for excellent, really good service that I'm like, you know what? You deserve a little bit more money rather than I know you make $3 an hour and if I, along with all these people, don't tip you 20%, you're gonna be homeless type shit. That's not okay. And we should not all be forced to do that. <laughs> when you see someone coming out of the bathroom one second after you heard the toilet flush, oh, they didn't wash their hands. I know what kind of man you are. Yeah, I usually just lick them clean. Is there a problem here? Why am I always shamed for this? Top Gear has really gone downhill. Is it actually still on the air, though? Is Top Gear still running, or did they finally cancel it? When you're bringing out the trash, but the mystery trash juice touches your skin. Oh, it's not a mystery. You better know what you're putting in your trash can, dog. When I ask someone how their trip was, but now it's been 47 minutes and they have no plans of shutting up, yeah, you can, uh... No, you can pass them on to somebody else. That's the only way to get yourself out of a bad conversation. Villain in a kid's movie dies brutally. The characters after. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, not many movies for families have the sauce quite like, say, Tarzan did. You guys remember the death in that one? Holy crap, that one was wild. Adam Driver as a Marine looks like Wallace. Oh my god, I never thought about it that way. He really does. You know what? When we finally get that live-action, non-claymation, and significantly inferior version of Wallace and Gromit in the future, I really hope that they uh, see if Adam would be willing to do that. Walmart employees when a group of teenagers sprint out of the store with a PS4 and no receipt. Walmart employees when an elderly man calmly exits with bagged items and a shopping cart. <laughs> Not really, no. Look, they hate checking your receipt just as much as you hate having to give it to them. Who wore it best, the cat? I dispense wisdom. What is your wisdom? Waking up early doesn't make mornings tough. Leaving a warm bed does. That's a good wisdom. Mm, no, it's the waking up for me. I couldn't really care less about getting out of the warm goddamn bed. I mean, as a kid, maybe, but now? No, it's the actual act of waking up. Tell me the truth. I I'm ready to hear it. It's not your zodiac sign. You're just a b. Oh my god, is it really? I always thought it was my sign. 